Hi my friends, my name is Denise. Welcome to my channel. I am super excited to film this video because it's going to be a full face of all my favorite products and products that will not disappoint. And if they do, and if you have them and you don't like them, I'm so terribly sorry. You do not have to listen to me. This is just what works for me and what I like. So I will keep reminding y'all about that because it's very, very, very important to remember that all these products are not the best products. They're just products that work for me and I feel like are the best for me. So disclaimer is cleared out out of the way. So if you haven't already go look at my drugstore favorite videos, there's, there's a lot of good things on that list that I feel like if you're starting out and if you're following me for advice, go to that video. It's so worth it. Okay, my friend. So I think we're going to do an eyeshadow look kind of like related to Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Hopefully I don't hit the mic because you guys will be able to hear it. Um, if you have some thoughts on the mic, please let me know because I am still trying to figure out this whole mic situation and like what audio sounds the best. So if audio sounds very different in each of my videos is because I still am figuring out what sounds best. Okay. You guys like my little star clips? So cute. Okay, how have you guys been? How has your week been so far? Um, I think this is going to be a Thursday upload, so... Psych! <laughs> how has your guys Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday have been? Um, I have been having kind of a rough week because my dog, um, Miss Chloe, she's very delicate to rain and whenever she hears rain she starts having a whole panic attack and hyperventilating and so she wants to wake me up for support and i'm just like half asleep and i'm like i'm so sorry i cannot help you because i'm sleeping okay i'll be right back i need to wet my beauty sponge and my rag but yeah uh i already wet it i love wetting it because it's like so squishy so squishy oh yeah it's very important to rinse out all the water because it's bad super bad if you let your makeup mix with water it's just gonna make it look all patchy and you do not want that and i think yesterday we literally just had rain and it's just been kind of gloomy except for like monday we had some sun it was like 80 and then like last week there was snow so like who knows what texas is going through She's going through a lot. Honestly, same. But, God, it feels like I haven't recorded a Get Ready With Me in such a long time because I always just do it over on TikTok and on YouTube Shorts as well. And it just feels a little weird because I'm not like, I'm just like, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do I do? How do I get ready? But this is not going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to be mainly talking about just my favorite products and what I do for my everyday makeup more like in depth 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 whatever um because I did a video like this but like it was like way long ago <laughs> it's like my updated or perfected base base routine and obviously I've gotten so many more tips and so much more steps to my routine that it's not even like close to it being what it was months ago I kind of feel a little over the place all over the place and I did have coffee today and I haven't had coffee in like a week so if I'm a little hyper then that's why I wanted to show you guys this thing I got this is from vanity collection and collections and it's their XL brush holder but yeah I just keep all of my big brushes there because those are the ones that collect the most dust and there's a lot of dust in my room and it's obviously really bad if your makeup makeup brushes get dust in them so I love to start off my makeup with a grip primer. It could be just like any primer, um, Elf Power Grip, which I also talked about in my drugstore makeup video. I'm using the Hydro Milk Hydro Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is for my makeup to just last longer and in general for powders to stick and foundation to last. The only difference between Milk Hydro and Elf Power Grip is that Milk Hydro Grip is more like thinner. It like doesn't sit as heavy on the skin and I do notice that with the Elf Power Grip it sits more heavy which is not a bad thing. It's just like that's just how it feels. I honestly don't mind either one um, as long as it just makes my makeup last longer. I'm okay with that. And right now I'm just going in with some brow gel and this is by NYX. I love this thing. I used to use edge control 
for um, my eyebrows and it worked for a, a while. Um, I stopped using it because it would flake up. It looks really bad when it flakes. And so when I first tried the NYX brow glue, it didn't flake. I wore the NYX brow glue, brow glue for like 12 hours and it didn't flake at all. So that's why it's my favorite favorite and i don't think i will use another brow glue unless i want to start trying new brow glues once the grip primer has dried down and it's sticky you definitely are able to feel it once it's sticky i like to go in with color corrector and this is just to um i always forget this step because i haven't done it in a while but elf poreless pre primer i just go in a little bit because i don't want a lot and I just add it to this area. I really like this because it kind of like makes this area, well, for me, this is where my pores are more prominent and makes it to where kind of diminishes the texture. So I started color correcting like months ago when I figured out how to get rid of the, the discoloration in my face. And honestly, that's been a lifesaver because I was looking a little crazy before color corrector. So this will always be a staple in my makeup routine. No matter if I'm doing light makeup, heavy makeup, always a staple for me. My week has been kind of rough and then I've been dealing with like a cold and just like shivering and this storm is hitting and then my dog is freaking out like every three hours this is thundering. I love rain but my dog hates rain so I like to go in with um, a less brighter concealer um, to like sharpen the brows and my favorite used to be the Milani the Milani Conceal Perfect Longwear Concealer and this is in the shade Light Vanilla uh, yeah I used to use that like crazy because it is good but now I got my sis Too Faced. <laughs> if you like the Milani concealer, then you will love Too Faced, guarantee. Plus also Too Faced concealer is so high coverage. Gosh, I drank coffee and now I'm like shaking like crazy. And that makes it really hard to do my eyebrows. I'm really trying not to get sick. Everyone around me is getting sick and it would just really suck if I also get sick. I already have a cold, so it's not a major cold. It's kind of small, but still, like, it just sucks. Um, that's why I'm kind of, like, still able to film videos because I don't feel like absolute crap. The problem with me is that when I get sick, it takes me a good two weeks to not be sick anymore. Obviously, I'm probably just being dramatic about that, but it, it doesn't just go away in a couple of days, if that makes sense. It just, it takes its time because whatever I get, it just, it just gets really severe and I have problems. I don't have the best immune system. I like to take a q-tip and just clean up any extra concealer I left. I used to not do that and it would mess with my powder so bad. If you guys have some cleansers that you love, please comment down below. I'm really happy you guys are loving the shorts. I was really scared to upload shorts because I just felt like YouTube was just a place to like just post just strict YouTube videos. That makes sense. But now that you guys are loving it, um, I'm not going to completely switch to shorts because I obviously still love doing these sit down and talking videos. So I think we're going to use the Superstay by Maybelline because I was going to use my Makeup by Mario one, but I just feel like it's a little heavy for me right now and I just kind of want, I don't really need a lot of coverage. I just kind of want something that's going to brighten it, but then it's kind of really bright. So maybe fit me instead. I used this in my last video. Um, I also, I really like it. It's obviously not my shade, which is why I don't use it as much. And I use my Makeup by Mario one more. I would love to get this in my shade. But uh, since you can't test it in stores, I really don't know what my shade is. So I usually get about that much. As you could tell, it's not my shade. It looks like my concealer shade. But trust, I make it work somehow. I literally don't know how I make it work. <laughs> it, it looks so crazy. So I don't know how this becomes like a shade that like matches my neck. Now the one that doesn't match my neck is the other one, the super stay one. That one, that one is bright. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that. Anyways, 
Do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Anything you guys are gonna do? Family, hangouts, cousins, I don't know. I love interacting with you guys. Like if you comment in my video like asking something, I definitely love answering your questions because I feel like eh, I can help someone and it makes me really happy when I help someone. So I don't know if you guys notice, but whenever I use my makeup by Mario foundation, I always use it with a brush. And then whenever I use a Fit Me foundation or any other foundation, I always go in with a sponge. So there's a reason for that. It's the consistency of the foundation really, because this foundation is more like watery. And with the brush, it could spread out evenly, but I just feel like it gets really patchy. And with a makeup sponge i just feel like it spreads out evenly i don't know i'm like either side i could use a brush or a beauty sponge you see how my face is obviously a little lighter but it's not like super light if that makes sense it's just light enough for me and tea match thick um it's not my favorite well it's good don't get me wrong i love it i just want a pan if that makes sense because my method of a application it has changed a lot and i prefer a pan now because i feel like i can get an even coverage obviously with the stick it's like you would draw it on right but i just feel like it takes more work to blend it out so with the stick i like going in with the angled brush and just like tapping it on there which is why i want a pan so i could tap it evenly all over the brush and then i like tapping the product on the side and then blending out because if I just go blending out immediately, it's gonna look all blotchy. So you see how already it's all kind of collecting here? Yeah, and that takes a lot of blending. I'd love to try Fenty's Cream Pan Contour and the y L -Y L -Y -S Match Stick. Not Match Stick, L Y S uh, Contour Stick. It's like a triangle shape look-alike thing it looks so interesting and i feel like it gives a better contour because it's so sharp and this one's like round so this weekend um i think i'm gonna work on my puzzle because i had that puzzle already for three weeks and i just finished the bottom half and i still have all the top half to do and it's a lot it's like a thousand pieces i think i want to do that it takes a good bit of time to finish a part so i think for blush i've been using the fenty double cheeked up pan duo thing uh, i've been using peony Droppa for a while Ooh, <laughs> for a while i really like how it looks on my skin god geez, look at how freaking cute that is it used to be more defined but now obviously i've washed it a couple of times so it just gives a good like little tap on the pan. It's so cute. So it's like a hot pink shade. Yeah, I feel like this is really cute for like a Valentine's Day look because it's like this Barbie pink color. Cute. I definitely want to get the singles by Fenty. It's like these pans. They're like this big and it's like these singles and they have a really really cute barbie pink shade that i really 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 want everything about blush is so perfect today we're gonna use one of my favorite brightening concealers and it's the one size one size concealer it's really thin but it's brightening which is what i like i do wish it was a little thicker but that's just personal opinion now if they were out to me i would go in with two Faced always i always go in with this one but i feel like today i just need to add a little bit different what i always do after the concealer is all blended out i like to go in with a powder puff and really set that under eye really good with this, I like to be super generous with the powder so that I can avoid creasing as much as possible. And my favorite to use, I have a couple, so I will talk about those. First is Charlotte Tilbury. This is a little bit more expensive than your regular pressed powder. 
it's really worth it in my opinion obviously i love expensive things and charlotte tilbury isn't one of them but a little bit more cheaper and affordable maybelline fit me this one's a lighter pressed powder which is why i'm going with this one over the charlotte tilbury and this is just to really mattify the eye and anywhere where i put concealer as much as possible if there's one thing i hate it's creasing i do not like it so i feel like now it is time to bake <laughs> i love baking powders that i recommend 10 out of 10 super mattifying do have a fragrance but they're super good at blurring fenty pro filter uh this is in the shade banana another one is huda beauty in the shade banana bread super good i want to get the pink one <sighs> i want a lot of things i think today we're gonna go in fenty so we're gonna bake my nose and this is not like super complicated guys if you have a powder puff then or a angled powder puff this will be a lot easier yes this has become one of my favorites i love it it is expensive anything from fenty is so expensive but when i tell you it changes the game in makeup it changes the game it's just about knowing how to do it that's all you need girl now we can move on to eyeshadow i think we're gonna use this palette she's really cute so this is the nudie cutie palette by la girl had this for like a year already i don't even know if they sell it anymore i'm gonna go in with this one just to neutralize the eye See, it already looks like a little brown and then i'm gonna go in with this baby pink like a light tan color like i don't even know so i'm gonna put it on the outside and i'm also gonna go in here with that same color i'm gonna go in with this like peach color oh oh my god do you guys see that oh my god dude i really need to not drink coffee again I'm gonna go in with that color here in the inner corner just to soften that pink that I added and really make it look really cute. I'm also gonna add it on the outside just to also blend out that pinkish gray color. Make it look really cute. Now we're gonna switch brushes because this one is full of pink. Just switch to a smaller, fluffier brush. Now we're gonna add some brown. And I think a cute transition would be this one because it's like a pinky brown. It's not like a brown brown. And then just add that in the lower lid. Just kind of concentrate it because you don't want to start mixing yet with the brown. Or you don't want to mix the brown yet with the pink. Right now we're just focusing on adding color. Why don't I just move you guys closer? Duh. Oh my god, why did I just think about this now? Sorry guys, forgive me for my unprofessionalism. But yeah, see how it kind of creates that brown here? And right now it looks a little messy because obviously it's all kind of like pink. But that's why we're going to go in with this. Um, I think we're going to go in with this one. Now, I want to do like a cut crease kind of like here. And like go like that. That'd be kind of cute. Right here. Now, talking about favorite setting sprays, I love One Size Waterproof Setting Spray. It is so good at making your makeup waterproof. But like, it's not waterproof where like you can dunk your head in water and then you'll be fine. But it is waterproof where you'll be able to touch your face and it's not gonna move. I will tell you guys, this smells like straight alcohol. But afterwards, I like going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. This one is expensive on the expensive side, but I think it's also really worth it. You guys know I'm a Charlotte Tilbury girl, so I don't know what you guys are expecting. Now for mascara. Um, I'm kind of iffy on this one. I do not have a <laughs> I do not have a favorite mascara, but I do have a mascara that I like using a lot. I don't know if you could say that's my favorite, but I do like using it all the time. So far, I've been using the Rare Beauty Mascara. Rare Beauty is that girl. Like, see? It's a very cute mascara. It doesn't, like, do super volumizing, but it does what it needs to do. It, honestly, I love that. Before we finish, we need to add powder blush because you can never have too much blush, okay? Never. And I love powder blushes i love liquid blushes powder blushes highlighters like name one thing i don't love but my favorite 
powder blushes and I know this might be too quick to say because I don't have a lot of powder blushes but if it's one thing that I love about my collection is that it's small and I love I could take appreciation for more things but my favorites Juvia's Place blush they're so pigmented so beautiful so many ranges for all skin colors like I have volume two and four here so four is this one and this one's two this is the first one I had was two and it's really cute it's like a super corally corally blush um and I think for this look we're gonna go in with volume four and this like super light shade because I just feel like this just needs blush but not a lot that makes sense thank you so much guys for watching this video um this is my list of my favorite products and what i would use almost on a daily basis i said that i wouldn't do this whole eye look but since it's close to valentine's day i figure i want to be in theme and do something like this so hope you guys understand thank you for hanging out with me and if you interacted with this video thank you so much uh i love all of the new people in my channel I love everyone who comments. You guys are so sweet and it just makes my day. Thank you for supporting me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get a notification whenever I upload. I try to upload Mondays and Thursdays, but obviously knowing how Texas has been lately, it's been on and off, but I promise to update you guys every single time if I'm not going to upload Monday and Thursday. If you subscribe, you can see the post so you are well ahead, especially if you go to my Instagram and Facebook, I update there. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. I love you all. Bye!